Alright everybody welcome to your third PHP tutorial in which we'll be discussing about something called echo and print in PHP. Now echo and print in PHP is pretty much used to do stuff like you want to output on the screen or you want to write on the screen or you want to display something to the user so what this echo would do actually it would function as if you are writing some HTML inside this the difference being you could echo dynamic data at uh, the screen of the users so when we will be learning about variables after a couple of tutorials then you would realize that echo just saves your day so echo hello world right here as we see in the first example and if I open 3.php here it would show me the same but if I view source this page um, then you see that echo hello world what it does it it sends hello world to the browser and nothing else so what if I do something like B and B so right now I'm writing HTML in PHP now this perfectly makes sense because PHP is a server-side language and everything is sent by a server to the browser so why not HTML as well so when I write echo B hello world B then what would happen is that it would send it as a HTML only HTML document only so if I actually view this document because this was the view source page if I actually view this document then you see that we get hello world as the bold text instead of just getting that um, slim text so inside this you see that we could actually pass on the HTML as well and not only this you could type any HTML you like list item 1 and this would perfectly make sense to the PHP because it is designed to do this so it would echo out the HTML so another statement which we have similar to echo is the print one so what does the print do is same just the echo do so if I do print and reload this page you see there's no difference so at this level I would only tell you that echo and print are same and you could use them interchangeably so this was your third tutorial on PHP and I'm taking it really slow because it would be difficult for you if you are not um, experienced with PHP before at all so that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and watch the next one so I'll see you then goodbye